Let's find the derivative of sine times cosine. Notice this is a product of functions. So rather than just our basic derivative rules, we're gonna need the product rule. I've written the product rule here in case you've forgotten it, and I'll leave a link in the description to my lesson introducing it if you need a more thorough review. The derivative of a product of functions, f of x times g of x, is f prime times g plus g prime times f. Since multiplication is commutative, it doesn't actually matter which one of these functions we call f and which we call g, but let's follow convention and call the function on the left f, and we'll call the function on the right g. Then what is f prime? Well, f prime is the derivative of sine, which is cosine, and don't forget, it's cosine of x. We then need to multiply that by g of x. g of x, in this case, is cosine, so it's cosine of x times cosine of x. Then we need to add, and don't forget it's addition, some people screw it up and sometimes do multiplication or any number of other things. Then we need to add g prime. Again, g is cosine. So what is g prime? Well, that's the derivative of cosine, so negative sine x. And then this needs to get multiplied by f. That's the last step. f, we already said, is sine x. So we just multiply this by sine x. We can, of course, do a little bit of simplification here. Cosine x times cosine x is cosine squared x. And then sine x times sine x is sine squared x. It's also negative, so let's just write minus sine squared x. And if you know your trig identities, the Pythagorean identity doesn't apply here because they're not being added, but there is another identity that does. Cosine squared of x minus sine squared of x is actually equal to cosine of 2x. So that's probably the best way we could write our answer. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Link in the description to some more calculus exercises. I'm a secular and aesthetic from